Institutional, what are they? Oh yes, you're talking about... In the administration, I was mainly discussing our province's management. I think it is... it is not good. For example, I... I start to... to dream or appreciate the management method that originated from the Imperial Party State without... without becoming myself. I'm going to say something like a party state, but I believe that provincial governors who are senior civil servants should be appointed by the state, not through elections, by the state or by the president. Yes, by the president, by the state. The president represents the state, non-native. That was the second step. So first appointed by the state and then they must be non-natives. Because I've observed that ever since we have adopted the system of electing governors and such, we have divided our populations. You go to a country and, sorry, in a province you will find people. In short, all these tribes that make up the province and when it comes to elections we think in terms of tribes. And when the governor belongs to a certain tribe, it's automatically forbidden for the same tribe to also have, for example, the presidency of the provincial assembly. It must be someone else, and so on and so forth. And then there are the clans. No, we divide our country. However, if I recall from Zahir's time, the strength of Marshal Mubutu's MPR regime was unity. You could say what you want about the Marshal's regime, but its unity strengthened it. We've seen a guy from Central Congo, for example, become governor in the east of our republic. Really, two worlds, two completely different cultures, but it helped to strengthen the bond. And today, since all of that has ended, you see what's happening today in Katanga. Individuals who are outright making anti-tribal speeches. It is becoming dangerous for our national unity. So these are things we should probably keep in mind. We need to think about it. The lawyers need to look into it. What about the provincial assembly? Will you be waiting for it? In my opinion, we can keep a sort of provincial assembly, maybe under a different name, because we need eyes. We need elected officials. We need local population representatives. We can mix all that. To see how these officials and what role they can play, what power they could have over the budget, commitment of budgets. Because the problem with our provinces is their management. Today, our provinces, at least apart from those that are mining, they're not functioning. I have the chance to go there, but when you don't aid them from the central government, they can't suggest anything, do anything, but it's not normal. Yet all our provinces, the entire Democratic Republic of Congo, is wealthy. And all these provinces are capable of creating wealth. And wherever there are people, there is wealth. Why isn't this working, Mr. President? Some successful candidates here on our show have discussed eliminating certain institutions they're lying about. Bijay Tivor, they mentioned the Senate. Others have even suggested eliminating the Sele. What are you planning to eliminate? Why should I eliminate anything? There's no institution, Bidget Tivor. Why do you want me to get rid of the Senate? Why are they lying about Bidget Tivor? Now we, how should I put it, we need to justify this. Because they believe that the Senate just does what the National Assembly does. Hold on a second. We refer to the Senate for the second reading. Sometimes the Senate also initiates the first reading, and so on. So for me, this isn't a bad system, and it's not this system that's to blame for Congo's issues. I think we Congolese have a tendency to try to imitate what happens elsewhere. Yes, because in such and such a country, they've done it. But to first experiment in that country since they've done it, what works in that country? Was it the Senate that was a problem? The worry is the reduction. The concern is the reduction. The issue is the reduction in the standard of living of institutions. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I don't think so about institutions. When you compare our institutions' lifestyle with other countries, you realize we're not excessively higher. I don't believe that's the problem. I'm not against it. I'm really not against it if it needs to be reduced. 